Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, man. I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Yeah, man. No. And my boy Is Brown. Hey, man. Hey, man. Guys, we had to do a quick one today, man. Uh, man. Uh, we come to you, man, and um, we just finding out that uh, Young Dolph um, was killed. Uh, today. We still have a little bit of a crowd right beyond the barricade there, um, the closest to the building where this happened, and um, they're still trying to see what's going on. You can see now tow trucks are being brought in. You don't have to, like I said, listen to music to really be touched by what happened. He was a success story when he made it out, but it wasn't only making it out, folks. For those who, you know, again, you may be unaware of his, his history, his, his background, something Young Dolph would do is he would purchase homes, and he always said he wanted to give his son a home Every, for his birthday, essentially. So by the time he graduated high school, he wanted his son to have almost two dozen homes. So he is essentially pumping money right back into this community. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy, man, because, man, he, was, he wasn't, but what, how old was he, 30? 36. 36 years old, man. You know, this is something that, that, that you know, we have to, man, you got to stop and just try to figure this thing out. You know what I mean? So many different things going on in the world today where people, you know, we, we, we think everything that, that, that's going on that um, we just, you can't even, you can't write this stuff out, man. You don't know what's going to happen from one day to the next, man. Tomorrow's in promise. We say it all the time. Yeah, but it? rap music is something different, man. I, I, I hate to say it like that, man. Rap music, it channels a different energy, man. And, yeah. and, and if you're not speaking correctly and if you're dealing with these different groups of people and, and they're getting caught up in different situations, man, and everybody want to be the man, and next thing you know, something like this happened, and now somebody mama crying. Never let it go. You somebody mama crying, somebody daddy crying. And that's that, it messed me up when I heard this, man. You know, and, and I and like I said, it just, it just happened, and it's crazy. I mean... One day you hear and then you go, and that song is so real. What UGK always say, yeah. man. That Ronnie Spencer song, it, man. It, 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 it's so true that one day you hear, and then you go, "How are they saying that it happened?" Well, is um, it TMZ? TMZ, because you know that's like, uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Well, it's, it, allegedly, what's going allegedly. on with it? It said Young Dolph was just shot and killed in his hometown, according to the local reports. Fox 13, Memphis says the rapper was gunned down Wednesday in Memphis, Tennessee, outside of a local cookie store. And there's already a massive police presence with people recording the aftermath. A video from the crime scene shows his car parked outside the shop while police investigated. Wow, yeah, I've seen different videos coming out like crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Different different people are stepping up and saying they hate it happen, Brown, man. So, Brown, you being a, a, a artist, man, um, man, what do you think when you first hear somebody else die like this, man? man it just, it's messed up, man. Like, you're losing good artists, you know what I'm saying, behind neg negativity. One. Negativity. It's like that's the only way you people get traction when it comes to the music. Like, it got to be negative. I got to get into it with this dude just for you to come see what's going on. Or, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not that people don't, but it just, it, 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 it gets, it, it's like promotion. It's, it's like promotion. Yeah, but how much promotion is it when you did? When you dolph and you dead, how much promotion is it then? But you know they say all your records and everything skyrockets yeah. after you die. Yeah. Man, you know, and it's gonna be a lot of people that come out now. Man, I used to love him, and man, I and you didn't love him when he was here. They said that some of the same people that that that's gonna be doing this, and they they about to start this. Yeah. Well, they gonna love him so much now that he gone. That's how it be. You get more love when you gone or in jail. Well, let me tell you what it said about um, how it happened. It says, a source says Dolph went into the store and a vehicle pulled up, firing through a front window and striking the rapper. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, did he, did he shoot back? Because I'm pretty sure he was prepared. They didn't say. But you don't, if, he, if they caught him off guard, no matter even if you had a pistol, depends on how many shots he already got, how are you going to shoot back? 
But when you think about Dolph and all the stuff he done been through, getting shot in L.A. Mm-hmm. Uh, 2017. Uh, and then, he get, then his car gets shot up before that. North Carolina. And then and you see this stuff steadily happening in real time to your life, man. And then I noticed he kind of declined back. He stopped, you know, even rapping about the yeah. violence after that, after he got shot. And then you look around now and something like this happened, you know, and, and it just, when does it stop, man? And this is so many years after that altercation from Yeah, yeah, but it, it, the streets is real, man. Like the people out there, yeah, jealousy, envy, strife, yes, hate. Mean. Uh, people see you riding in a Lambo and they in a, a Toyota. But what my question was, all this time, and you've always been in altercations, why not have bodyguards with you? Why not be wearing, like 50 Cent always had on a bulletproof vest. Like, why not take precautions? You know, all these people are after you. Man, you know, I'm just tired of it, bro. They said that he was there seven days er- or six days before they promoting that store he was there. So it, it was a place he was frequently going to. So whoever did, they probably like, they already knew, you know, hey, he be over here or, you know, whatever the situation was, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And this is the hometown. Yeah, because I seen a post of like, yeah, he was there six days prior to that, promoting that, that, that place. I guess uh, they sell food there or something. So, mm-hmm. so back at his hometown, back at his hometown. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? That, a lot of times that's where it be because that's where it, People know your your repetitions like yeah. you circulate a lot. You know what well, I'm saying? you know the great uh, uh, Boosie made the statement that you know in your own town is usually you know where it goes down. To be honest with you, and I'm paraphrasing, but man, when you look at everything that's been transpired in the year that we're in today, um, <clears throat> you know, coming off the top, you know, you had uh, uh, all these different people that's getting uh, 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 killed at a very young age, man. And all of them are related to rappers, man. Rappers is the new. Uh, um, that's 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 the new thing that 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 people are bodying, man. No. You know this 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 is crazy. You know when you look at all the people that been shot, everybody getting shot. When you look at all the, I, I mean, from dying to getting shot, Yellow Beezy getting shot, Trap Boy Freddie getting shot, uh, Mo Three dying on the highway. Is it a part uh, of the rap uh, Then game? what's the other guy down there that 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 that, that died? With, with, not Ducky P. Ducky P. Getting getting killed. The other guy that was in uh, uh um the one from Chicago, the one that was going with the girl Asian doll. What's his name? Uh, uh the boy oh, with the brain, King, King Von. <laughs> uh, the list goes on, man. Yeah, man. Uh, and these people just keep getting and nips. It goes all the way from. Uh, from Mo3 to Nipsey Hussle getting killed in front of his store. These people got to stop this, man. It's got to stop. It got to stop, bro. Because when you look at it, uh, it's it, it, it's it's got to be something related to the music. The gun, the talking about it, the, the, it it's got to be yeah. something related to the music. Uh, a bunch no, of but, okay. You know, I'm always playing devil advocate. But, but play say, whatever. But, but, but it, it, No, but listen to this. Listen to this, right? You say it has to be for the music and so forth. I'm not saying no. It probably is. But then all of the other people who are dying from gang and all of these other things, because they're not in the limelight like these rappers are, we're not hearing about it and feeling it the way how we're feeling it for them. That's true. But when you look at the, the opportunity that they afford it, when you look at what they're, you know what I mean? The, 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 man, that other boy, the one got killed in California, the one was from New York, but he was in an a Airbnb. Uh, Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. When you look at all these different people with the afforded opportunities that they have, and, and you're going to hear some songs from Dolph start to come out now. Mm-hmm. And you're going to hear some music. And now everybody, this is something, this is a spirit of, of divination where people are caught up and they don't even realize it, that they're enjoying the moment after somebody died. And it becomes a habit forming thing. I agree. To where everybody used to it. It's a normal thing to celebrate right after somebody died with a hit song. And that's bad, bro. No. Each one of them. Man, our people are dying. They're either in jail or they're getting killed on these streets. And it's sad, bro. It's sad. I don't know how we change that narrative. How do we change that? I think people got to change that within themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of times it's really maybe somebody gets successful and then you get these haters or maybe you already had some beef. In the before, past, before, and they they, they want to get you at your position, whether yeah. it's in jail, death, or however it is, but they want you at your position. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. 
And I'm just naming, you know, T.I. had that artist down in uh, uh, Alabama that, that died, you know, uh, back in, in the gap. Uh, uh, the other boy, the great. The uh, other guy, the great uh, as well. Shot uh, low. No, nah. I didn't know what shot. It was, this, was a, this was a big dude. Uh, he had a song with uh, uh, with Ti. I can't the remember the name. Lane. No, it was in Alabama. It was uh, it was it was a big bigger guy. Uh, Tip Nim had took him under their wing, man, and uh, uh, he was he was on to come up too. Yeah. And they killed him. What I'm saying is, when you start to get these afforded opportunities, the hate, the envy, and the strife, it just centered eyes at your door. It knocks and it comes right in, man, and it's sitting on your porch. Now you're looking at somebody in a casket and and your mama dying, and your dad is crying. And, the, and and and, it, and it's sad, bro. We just had uh, with Water Two Live on here. That, mm-hmm. I, that's why it hit home, because when people die like that, and, and, and you know that they had great potential, it just kind of it's it's just it's just the most annoying thing, bro. Yeah, like Mo Three, he had a lot of talent. Man, Mo Three was. <laughs> I mean, that outside song. You still like I said, you get a hit right after that, and everybody's cool with it. Man, Young Dolph was. Was was a uh, 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 independent. He had just go, we start going back and forth with uh, Soldier Boy. Yeah, they just started doing, and I'm I'm hoping that was on wax. But we don't know what's going on because the internet it pretty much it takes and it illuminates something that you don't know what's it, going it watered, on. It watered it down. It hides it in this instance. It amplifies it in this instance, and you just caught in the middle in the gray of thinking what you want to think. And these people got to come up with a way. To, to 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 get our people in better situations than what they in, man. But isn't that also a media period? Because doesn't the news do the same thing where they show you what yeah. they want to show you? They don't show you everything? Yeah, but the news is different in a sense that when you look at these... See, the news try to hide different things just the same way, but they, they propped it up a different way. And certain things from back in the days, they didn't show on TV. Right. Now, you okay. get a, a, a video... With Young Dolph or whoever allegedly arm hanging out the window or something of a store. And they showing this on national TV. Or you see somebody that get killed on Facebook and blood spewing out of them and they bleeding out. And this is stuff that's happening in real time. And you seeing this and, and you don't know what to think. You don't even know if it's a fake interview, or, I mean a fake uh, uh, a post where somebody just took some footage and said this was that yeah. this is a crazy world that we live in and we got to come up with some w- way better to scope it man and i ask god to give us the the you know the, the the ability to start seeing through those 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 dim dark tunnels that we keep having to look at because people are dying yeah. and that's the crazy part so you know um man you know i, I just don't know I, I i don't know what to say you see the way how the world is you know we want knowledge. We want all of this. But you can't pick and choose the type of knowledge, the type of this, the type of that. When you get it, you get everything on social media. You can't say, well, I can't. I just want this or I just want that. You're going to get it all. Yeah. man. Like I said, man, he had his issues with whoever, you know, and, 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 and shout out to Yo Gotti and all those guys, man. You know, Memphis, hey, Memphis got a lot of talent in it. Pooh Shiesty locked up. You know, when you start looking at what's going on with these people, man, is it really worth it to kill somebody? Is it really worth it for for somebody to lose their life behind um, uh, a, a simple beef that maybe could have been something could have been discussed to where somebody could still keep their life? You see what I'm saying? Is it really, really worth it? But people who do things like that, um, they're doing it because of whether just in the moment or out of respect for their click or whatever or pride, i don't pride, know or, or, i pride think it's I, or I don't think nobody ego or they're just not whatever. putting the trigger they paying these young dudes and put and, and telling these dudes to do stuff it's people behind the scenes uh pulling uh uh moves i believe in a sense it ain't just the front liners most of the time people getting the key putting their back most of the time niggas getting influenced by the internet just by what they see and they start trying to figure out a way to uh, 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 be a part of something so you can be great and be famous you know what I mean mm-hmm. or retaliate the guy that, that, that killed like. uh, Nipsey Hussle uh, I think Hold or whoever you know just uh, anything just people just dying bro and people just coming out to, and they now they famous mm-hmm. in a negative way what hope do we have for the youth if we keep on doing the things that we doing to try to help change the narrative of the next generation. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? This is crazy, man. 
But I just want to say condolences to the family. Um, he left behind a daughter and a son, and condolences. I, I'm going to keep them all in my prayers. Um, yeah. Yeah, we got to keep them in our prayers, Brown. No. Brown, what, 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 I mean, what, like, like how, does this, how does this make you uh, look at the way, because you're a rap or artist. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I got nah, you on like, the platform. What does, I mean, the what do we do, man? Because we know that you're projecting, and I go right back into the fact that you're projecting one thing, but you're, 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 you're putting an art out there, an art form. How do we better describe what's happening in the process? Like, like, what do you mean? As far as when you rap, you just rapping about certain things and it's on wax. It may not be even a realistic thing. Yeah. But then people that are influenced yeah, they, they, easily, they take, that as they in, take it yeah. as this is what how you live it yeah. to be famous. Because they want to be famous or they want to be popular. How do you... And you're not saying it's, gonna, it's fake because you have to put on that persona to make it seem like it's real because you don't want anybody... Because I've heard rappers say, I'm, I don't want people to look at me like I'm fake, so I got to do this. You know, I, it... I gotta man, give that like, persona. Like, like me personally, man, I I, I just rap. You know but saying? you rap because you you've lived a real life. You've been through a lot. You know what I mean. Yeah. So it's easy for 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 you know most of these cats ain't never even been locked up. I spoke on that before. And I said that, you know, these niggas ain't never been faced no time Man, and they ain't done I, I none done, of this stuff. I done seen some the most like I done seen fake and stuff like I, I around mean, her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I seen it, but I've seen some real too. Yeah. Because yeah. of places I've been yeah. and the things I've been but and that's the difference. When you really done seen some things and lived a little bit, you see this stuff, man, and now you see the D kids playing with it. Now Dolph he was what he didn't make it forty to be forty 36. years old. Thirty six years old. Mm -hmm. That's that's tough, man. I want to say, man, I'm gonna keep his family in my prayers, but man, I'm telling you, man, we got to do something, man. Shout out to Key Glock, man, and all them guys. I know they're going through it right now. And I want to say that some people will say, "Why pray for them?" Because you don't even know them. But then at the same time, when we were going through COVID, why pray for the whole nation? No, you know what you I mean. You can't go by what people say. I'm I'm just you know addressing no, I agree that with because you. at the I, same I, time, I you're a mother and you have kids, you know what it would feel like. You know what I mean? Definitely, man. So, yeah, yeah, yeah man. As, and and we will, you know, we will speak on it as the as the story, you know, unfolds even more, man. We'll we'll try to keep the people that watch this platform updated on the things that we see come out about this, man. But guys, we got it. As I said before, we got to do better. Mm -hmm. We got to do better as a as, as a culture. Uh, we got to do better as a people, man. Um, it's, it ain't so good. It I mean, it ain't so uh, bad to 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 for us to to do better, mm -hmm. man. Hey, man. Holla at your boy, man. Some people don't want to see us do better. Nah, man. It's a unique As hustle, a man. Holla at your boy, man. Boss Talk 101, man. We out, man. And we out.